Hello everyone, Metro Collectibles back here doing video number three today, Sunday. Quick pickups video from this weekend. Again, if you guys like the videos, like, subscribe, comment below. Metro Collectibles on all the platforms. I do have a live sale coming at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time if you guys get to this quickly on Sunday. We posted, we left up for a couple days. I'll try to put the link in the in the uh, description to that, that sale, the claim sale. In case you guys want to see any of these cards, most of these will be in there. Let's get going. Picked up a bunch of stuff this weekend. Sold some stuff as well, but start off 54 tops. Ted Williams, 1.5. This will be going to my Hall of Fame collection. Uh, Ernie Banks, 55 tops, 3.5. Got a Jackie, 1.5. 1954 tops we picked up. And then two PSA 10s, some Hall of Famers, rookie cards, Chipper and Frank, both Bowmans. So price, I picked these up for a uh, trade, about $210 trade value. Gave away some vintage people that just came back from a recent PSA order. Paid cash for these two, 325 cash. I'm sorry, I think it was 350 cash. So uh, I paid about comps for these. I needed them for my collection. So trying to get earlier years at Williams and Jackie. I have 55s right now, so we've got 54s. So I'll be selling my 55s. And then the Ernie, uh, I got this and the, hold on, this and the Ditka together. And I think I paid 350 for that as well. So, um, they got a pretty good deal. I got a good deal on the Buckus. The number here is what I'll be listed on eBay for, shipping included. So it's about right around comps, maybe a little above. But it's, it's close. There's not many of these that go for sale on a, a PSA 8 grade. So I was happy with those. I think I lied on these. I think I actually paid $325 for these two together. I can't remember. Maybe it was $525. I think it was $525. Anyway, those are going to PC. They're not going for sale until I get better versions. Well, let's go through this stuff. I already showed you the Ditka. I got the uh, Sandy Koufax. Picked this up partial trade, partial cash. Uh, but I paid about 350 for this. I think it's 300 cash and 50 50 trade. So a pretty good deal there. He's going for about one. They, they go for about 450. So I thought that was pretty good. Uh, Joe Perry. This was cheap, five bucks or so. Uh, a couple higher grade. Yeah, we got Joe Perry for free. Oh uh, yeah, I think I, I think I put it five bucks value is what happened. So a bunch of some older high grade. Philadelphia's here, eight and a half, eight and a half, seven and a half, 55 Bowman there, and 64 Philadelphia here. So a lot of eight and a halves. Um, I got these in trade as well. I think about 20 bucks a piece in the trade. I gave up some cash for that as well. So that was a good pickup. Those won't move very quick, but just good old high vintage or high, uh, high grade vintage stuff. Picked up a, it's got three Hall of Famers on it, Chamberlain, uh, Kareem and, and Walt Bellamy, SGC six. I think I got this for twenty or twenty-five bucks. So again, that's about where it goes on eBay. Maybe it's right around it. Again, that's my shipping shipping included price. George Kell, same. Got this in a trade as well. I traded away two Dale Murphy, two Dale Murphy rookie cards at a PSA seven. I think I got these two, and I got a couple others in this. The total trade value was like one twenty-ish or so. Is what I think. I think it was. I got a low grade Ernie Banks here. Two and a half. Picked up this Maz. I traded away two Shohei Otanis for this. One rookie card and one numbered. About a hundred dollar trade value um, on this one. That's it's again higher grade PSA seven second year Maz. So it's worth a little bit. So uh, I think lowest listed them. This is lower than that, but I think the last sold around one fifty or one sixty. Uh, and two Larry Bird rookies. This isn't the the big one with Magic, but some. Uh, so with the other guys here, the leaders rookies they aren't the official rookie card, but. Again, the leaders, so pretty cool there. I think I, I mean, I got these for a great deal. I, I gave away a, a 1972 top sticker with uh, Lou Alcindor and a couple others on it. It was a low grade. I only had like 50 or 60 bucks on that card. We did a straight up trade. So I think he had 20, 20 a piece on these. And this one, this one's worth a little more. So pretty good there. Uh, let's get into some of this other stuff there. I'll go through the rest of the graded stuff. This was in one of those trades. Where I got the vintage football, 
and uh, the 115 cash for, for a couple cards I had, and then picked up this one as well. Jordan, just, just a basic hardwood leaders there. I uh, picked this up for 10 bucks. It's a Tua PSA 10 Fire Burst. The, uh, the non-cracked case version sells for 40 or 50 bucks. This one's, this one's got a damaged case. Somebody came around and said 10 bucks. I said, yeah, I'll buy it for 10 bucks. And I don't know if I'll... I'll probably try to sell like this first just for cheap, and then if it doesn't sell, try to get it uh, maybe re-slabbed to see if they'll do it. If it, I don't know if there's any damage in the card or not, but it's that. Just a cheap Adrian Peterson rookie. 2007 tops. He's go for 40 or 45 bucks. And then last but not least, some real stuff. So I picked up this right at the end. This is a Justin Fields rookie number to 25, the mini 12 out of 25. I paid uh, 25 bucks for this. Uh, looks good. I, I might try to get it graded. It's well centered, but low number Justin Fields rookie. I am going to the national a couple weeks. I know he's been hot, so I may take this along just to see if I can sell it raw. Otherwise, send out the PSA. See if it'll get 10. Should increase the value quite a bit. Was, you know, cheap pickup for 25 bucks. I think SGC 10 did 100 bucks. So pretty good there. Cheap Justin Jefferson press proof, purple or blue. I think it's blue. Just just Donruss. Yeah, I think I just got like 10 bucks. I paid on this one. Look at it closer. If it looks good. I'll try to gem it up. Otherwise, just keep it. See how it does in the season. I did. I sold a bunch of Otani's. I sold fifth. I probably sold 20 Otani's total this yesterday. Uh, 15 raw Otani's. I, I got a little over 200 bucks for those, and then I ended up picking this one up at the end of the show for 20 bucks. So this one again, if it gems, it's a it's a few hundred dollar card. But since I got rid of them, I pulled some back, and I picked up some just cheap Otani stuff as well. This was a trade as well. I traded away some. Uh, I traded away a uh, Kurt Busch low numbered racing card that was graded at SGC 95 with a 10 auto. I got the Lolo Jones auto here out of 25. Just thought it was cool. I hadn't seen one of those, so I picked that up. These three Otani's and the the Otani moment platinum here is what I got in that trade. Probably eight dollar trade value is what that was. So thought those were cool. Last two, this was one of the earlier trades. Uh, part of the Dale Murphy rookie card trade. This is uh, 20 bucks on this. It's in great shape. It's a 1935 Diamond Stars Heine Manouche Hall of Famer. Great shape in the front, but does have a stamp on the back. So good condition. Just got that stamp. Probably a, it'd probably be a three or a four. I don't know what I'll do. With it. I don't know if I'll send us off the grain or just try to sell it raw as is. I think it's probably worth 40 or 50 bucks. So we'll see there. Uh, this may this may go up in that claim sale. See if anyone wants to buy it raw. Again, cheap Hall of Famer from 35 Diamond Stars. Last card I picked up, Cooper Cup, number out of 50, rookie auto. Um, I just I haven't seen this card. I we there's one comp on it sold for 60 bucks. I I got it for 50 in one of the trades I did. Um, he's coming off injuries and I don't know. He's one of the best wide receivers in the league. So I just thought it was a cool card. And uh, wanted to pick it up, so I did. So that is it. I did sell a bunch of stuff, too. I sold uh, a bunch of the PSA order I got back. I think I traded away probably five or six of those cards uh, to get some of the stuff that I picked up. Again, the main ones being some of the stuff in my Hall of Fame collection. These two, I, these three I paid cash for. These two I got in trade. But it was a pretty good show. It was the Mooresville card show just north of uh, Charlotte in the... Uh, Kind of right near the Lake Norman, North Carolina area. We were there probably eight hours. It was busy the whole day, so it was a great show. Got to meet some people. Did a couple deals, so we had a fun time. So again, if you guys like these videos, give us a follow, give us a like. Um, I'll be doing that claim sale on the Facebook group today, and I'll leave it up for a few days. And then uh, I'll also be posting these things to eBay. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, check out my eBay page, medforcollectibles.com. That's how you can get there, or search Medford Collectibles through eBay. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.